So hey guys, you just watched the wrap that I made for you, and uh, some of the information was kind of hard because the wrap went fast, and maybe you didn't get it. So this is a quick review for your worksheet as an answer check. Um, if you remember this screen, this was from the um, Ribbon of Life activity, and the two specific cells we're looking at down here are the animal one right here and the plant cell right here. Now I'm going to go through each one of these parts and we're going to talk about what they do and if they're in an animal and a plant cell. So the first one on your sheet is the nucleus. Now right in this area, right there, is the definition. So it says it regulates the production of proteins and it contains genetic material. All you need to know for the nucleus is it controls the cell and it's like the brain. And if you look down at the animal and the plant, they are both highlighted. So it is yes in plant cells, yes in animal cells. The next one on your sheet is the cell wall. So if I go down to the cell wall, it says a rigid layer surrounding a cell gives shape, strength to plants, fungus, and bacteria. So you need to know for this it gives shape and strength to plants. And if you look at the uh, diagram, it is yes in plant cells, no in animal cells. Uh, next one is the endoplasmic reticulum. Looks like that. Uh, this is a long definition. You don't need to know any of this definition. The only thing that I need you to know for the endoplasmic reticulum is it transports materials throughout the cell transports materials throughout the cell and looking at the pictures yes it's in plants yes it's in animals the next one is the chloroplast we already talked about chloroplast this year so you should immediately know what they do for the organelle or the cell I mean uh, you can ignore this definition and two things that the chloroplast do is number one gives it a green give the plant cells its green color and two it gives it energy through photosynthesis and again if you look at the diagram yes to plant cells no to animal cells Cytoplasm. This is the fluid contents of the cells in which organelles float. So it holds the organelles and look at the big picture. You bet it's in plant cells, yes, and animal cells, yes. Uh, next one is the ribosome. So if we jump up there to the ribosome, uh, long definition, if you got from the wrap, all you need two words, makes proteins. Makes proteins. And if you look at the pictures, yes to plant cell, yes to animal cell. Next one is the mitochondria, uh, right up at the top. This is powerhouse cell. It breaks down food and gives energy. So you need to put here powerhouse of the cell, and it makes energy. And if you remember from playing Cellcraft, the form of energy is ATP, because that's what kept you alive. Uh, if you look at both of these, yes, it's in plants, and yes, it's in animals. Cell membranes next. For a cell membrane, you can just write protect cell and controls what goes into and out of the cell. So protects the cell, controls what goes in and out of the cell, and it's in both plants and animals. The vacuole is weird on this because if you notice there's three, and if you see I'm scrolling up and down, the water one is in the plant, the central one's in the plant, and the food's in just the animal. So there is a vacuole in both plants and animals, and for the definition, just put stores food and water. So it stores food and water, and it's in both plants and animals. Finally, the Golgi body, which was kind of hard for my wrap. The Golgi body, I'd like you to put, it packages proteins to be used in other parts of the cell. So it packages proteins to be used in other parts of the cell. And you can think of it as the cell's mailroom. So it ships stuff out. Um, and it's in both plants and animals. So good job, guys. Hope you did okay. Uh, see you later. Bye-bye.